all right guys I decided to do a little follow-up video on the easy engine clean video that I made last year going through the comments on that video there were a lot of good comments that people posted like using compressed air to help blow away excess dust using a leaf blower to help dry the engine after using tire foam or even something as simple as wiping the engine with a towel after you're done and I'm not opposed to any of that when I clean my engine with tire foam all I do is spray it with tire foam and that's it because my truck is a daily driver and I'm not interested in having a show truck type engine I want to get the most dirt grease and grime off the engine that I can with the least effort so I could go in and degrease the engine and spend a lot more time cleaning it but it's just not worth it to me all I want is a fairly clean engine and the tire foam fulfills that need now I'm not here to defend the tire foam method of cleaning the engine because the reality is it doesn't really matter to me whether anyone uses tire foam whether they spend hours detailing the engine, whether they pay someone to have their engine detailed, or really if they clean their engine at all. This was simply to show an easier, quicker way to do it, because the truth is, most people are never going to clean or detail their engine. But if you have to work on that engine, or even when you're changing your oil, it's a lot nicer to have a cleaner engine rather than a dirtier engine. So I'm going to go through some of the comments, especially some of them that I saw repeated over and over, and we'll look and see whether they're true or not. Now in the last video, I used my son's truck, which is the same basic truck that I have. Unfortunately, his truck is on base with him in the Army now, so I don't have access to it. But the only differences in our vehicles is mine is about six months older than his. Now the last time that I used tire foam on this engine was eight months ago. And you'll see that there is a little bit of collection of dust not really too much grime or grease or anything like that but i would say over an eighth month period this engine is not excessively dirty dusty or anything like that and you'll notice here on the more horizontal surfaces that's where it collected more dirt than anywhere else and that's because i didn't wipe it and if you'll remember the title of the video it said no water no scrubbing it never said no wiping so if you want to wipe your engine after using the tire foam then more power to you and it's certainly not going to hurt anything and it would be a benefit on the horizontal surfaces but when you look at the plastic on here you'll notice it has very little dust on it and remember this is eight months worth of driving I wanted to show you a quick contrast this is my dad's f-150 which he bought about five days before I bought mine same engine same exact truck and he has never cleaned his engine with tire foam water scrubbing it or any other way and you'll notice that his engine is significantly more dusty than mine was so I think this pretty much proves that even if the tire foam would attract a small amount of dust not cleaning your engine results in a dustier engine. Now before I get started, I slid a couple fluorescent colored poster boards underneath the front of the truck. This way, we can see just how much grease, grime, and dirt comes off the engine since a lot of people say that this product doesn't clean. Now one of the comments that I saw posted most often was about using tire shine and you're shining the dirt and things to that nature. But in the video, I never said to use tire shine. I said to use tire foam. And there is a difference. There are lots of products out there that are made to have a high gloss shine. And that's not what I used. And you'll notice right here on the can, it says tire foam protectant. It also says touchless powerful cleaning. Many people said I didn't clean anything. Well, that's incorrect. I'm using a product that is made to clean on something that needs to be cleaned. So in my opinion, that equals cleaning. It protects and conditions. As I said previously, it helps protect any of the plastic, your belts, hoses, or things like that, the same way it helps on your tires. Also, it restores a deep black look. It does not shine anything. It's not made for that. And right here on the bottom of the can, it has the finish, I guess it would be guide. It specifically points out that it's not a high shine finish. And I realize that 
the term tire shine is kind of used interchangeably a lot of times with tire foam but there is a difference and a lot of the shine products are really thick thick liquid that you spray on and I'm not sure if they have any cleaning ability at all here is an excerpt from the Omeral tire foam website where it specifically says in three different places that it cleans so when you use this on your engine you are cleaning because you're using a product that's made to clean on something that needs to be cleaned another comment was that I was just covering the dirt well again this product is designed to clean and protect it doesn't cover it cleans and protects another comment that I saw said that it seals in dirt which I mean I don't even know how to respond to that except we obviously don't have anything that's a sealer here we have a cleaner and a protectant so it doesn't seal in anything again it cleans and it protects now for the big scary comment that it's flammable and your car is going to catch on fire while you're going down the road okay a simple look at the safety data sheets for tire foam will show that it is flammable now you're probably thinking well that's not very good and I completely understand that concern but what you have to understand is it's the propellant in the can that sprays the tire foam out that's flammable not the actual tire foam itself so I'm gonna do a little test and I'm gonna see just how flammable this is now I'm gonna take a barbecue lighter and I'm gonna spray this like you would do with a can of say hairspray or something that's really flammable to see if we can make a big flame really not looking all that flammable now is it all right so I'm gonna spray this lid with some tire foam and let's go ahead and light that on fire since it's so flammable well, come on this stuff is so flammable that's gonna catch your car on fire it should completely stay lit right Wow, it is not catching on fire. Holy crap, that means my truck's not going to catch on fire when I'm going down the road after I put tire foam on my engine to clean it. Imagine that. Another comment was to not spray tire foam on belts, which I can't imagine why other than someone thinking that it could possibly make the belt squeak. Well, if your belts are not already squeaking, I don't see how tire foam could make them squeak. Because it's a cleaner and a protectant, it's going to actually be absorbed into the belts. To help keep them conditioned and help prevent them from premature cracking but let's look a little deeper at the fact that some say tire foam doesn't clean anything even though it is specifically a cleaner i'm going to wipe my air box and just on one side and see how much dirt we get up really not bad for that tire foam that just collects dirt over an eighth month period right now i'm going to spray the air box with tire foam let it sit for a few minutes and we'll see what it looks like okay so here was the dirt that I got off without using any tire foam I'm going to use a clean section of the rag and see what's left so to everyone that says all I did was cover up the dirt I think that's incorrect Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tire foam the whole engine and we'll see where the dirt goes.
So I've let this sit about 45 minutes. And as you can see, it did a very good job of not only cleaning the engine, it's also protecting all of the plastic and the rubber parts. Now, there are some parts that are not going to be completely clean, especially up on the top of the engine, the horizontal surfaces. Because as I said in the title of the video, you didn't have to use water, you didn't have to scrub. But if you want to wipe these surfaces down to get some additional dirt off, then there's no problem with that. No method you use is going to get 100% of the dirt off. One of the comments that I had on the video was that I was really trying to sell this method. And really I'm not. All I'm trying to do is show people an easier way to clean their engine. Because I don't gain anything from this. I make no money from it. As a matter of fact, my YouTube channel is not even monetized. So I don't make anything for you even watching this video. It's just to try to help people out. And if you want to wipe off the excess like that, no problem. And you'll notice that I got very little dirt off of it. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out those two posters that I put underneath the truck. We weren't able to catch all of it because I only had two of these to use. But as you can see, there's dirt and grime that dripped off the engine. So if you're wondering exactly where the dirt went, that's where it goes. As always, I appreciate you watching the video. And if you would, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. We'll see you in the next video.